Well, Newsweek Magazine's social media crew was fangirling hard over White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki supposedly shutting down a male reporter who dared to ask a question about abortion. He believes that it's a woman's right, it's a woman's body, and it's her choice. Sure, Jan. The debate is about what's happening to the other body, that of the baby. Now, to be fair, this is a legitimate question, given that just nine years ago, President Biden was saying this. Life begins at conception. That's the church's judgment. I accept it in my personal life. And now he's saying this. I respect them, they, those who believe life begins in the moment of conception. And all. I, I respect that. Don't agree, but I respect that. So what changed? I mean, clearly, it's not politics. This is a movement about science, remember? Right. And speaking of that science... I know you've never faced those choices, nor have you ever been pregnant. Wait, wait. How does Ms. Saki know that? Did the reporter tell her that? You know, if nothing else comes out of this whole Texas abortion law, at least we all got to see the progressive left toss out that whole silly sex and gender distinctions or bigotry nonsense. There's one reason that Ms. Saki could say so confidently that Mr. Reporter Dude had not had a baby. Because she knows what she pretends not to know when it's politically convenient. That biological men don't have a uterus, can't get pregnant, and don't have babies. Biology Biology is not bigotry, and it never has been. But almost as ignorant as this premise that men can be women is, the goofy supposition that people who can't get pregnant can't have an opinion on abortion is real clown town. The idea that a man can't speak up on an issue of human rights because he's never been pregnant, that's as logically sound as saying that Northerners in 1860 shouldn't have spoken up on an issue of human rights because they'd never owned a plantation with large fields of cotton that needed to be harvested. That doesn't make sense. If you are human, you not only are able to speak up on issues of fundamental rights, you should feel morally compelled to do so. Now, there are a group of men that we should be teeing up right now, but it's not the ones who are speaking against a practice that sex traffickers use to keep young women usable, a practice that disproportionately devastates minority communities, a practice that dismembers tiny humans for profit. Any man who hides behind the fact that he lacks fallopian tubes in order to avoid defending the defenseless, he is the coward that is deserving of Saki's rebuke. And though her shameful sellout to the forces of legal abortion prevent her from offering it, there are others like Gianna Jessen, a woman stricken with cerebral palsy due to a botched abortion that she survived as an infant. Heroes like her are courageous enough to do so. Men, you are made to stand up and be men. You are made to defend women and children, not stand by and turn your head when you know murder is occurring and do nothing about it. You are not made to use women and leave us alone. You are made to be kind and great and gracious and strong and stand for something. Because men, listen to me. I am too tired to do your job. Godspeed the day when you don't have to, Miss Jessen.